and small, it's quirky and unique and it's electric and clean. The latest from MG in India, the Comet is different in many ways. It isn't for the first time that we're seeing an electric car this small in India, but this one is far ahead when it comes to design, features and yes, appeal. MG Motor says 70% of Indians travel solo in a car, so a small city vehicle with just two doors makes a lot of sense. And then it takes care of the environment too. Now with this car, MG is clearly trying to break the myth that if it's small, it has to be simple. Well, the Comet is just under 3 meters in length and we don't see that very often on our roads, but it gets a lot of premium as well as quirky elements all over when it comes to the exterior. Let me make you go through them one by one. The first and foremost is that the car also comes with some dual tone options including this apple green along with starry black roof really makes it stand out in the crowd when it's out on the roads. Then you get these nice looking connecting DRLs all the way from one end to the other end. This blue accent just above them and use of chrome just below them. The charging port is located on the face much like the other electric from MG in India, the ZS EV. So good place to have the charging port, very convenient and then you get these curved headlamps on the car again add to the premium quotient you come towards the profile of the comet ev and then you look at this chrome strip that stretches all the way towards the mirror which looks nice and the dual tone color option comes out very nicely on the profile as well you also get chrome door handles on the car and also a lock unlock button right above the door handle and look at this this is the key which also looks quite premium that comes with the mg comet ev and the car also gets the proximity lock unlock feature which i feel is a really practical thing to have on any car that you own. And finally talking about the rear of the Comet EV, much like the front, you once again get uh, connecting lamps here on the hatch and then you also get a generous use of chrome as well as the dual tone feel also comes out very nicely on the car. The famous internet inside badge finds a place on this hatch and overall the car looks quite likeable when it comes to design. Yes, some of you may have a problem with the shape, the tall boy shape of the car. But remember, it greatly adds to the practicality quotient when it comes to the cabin. In all, there are five colors to choose from, two of which are dual tone options. But that's not all. MG is also targeting the youth with more than 250 combinations of stickers and graphics to give your Comet a distinct look. The car comes with a wheelbase of 2010mm but the 12 inch steel wheels look slightly smaller in proportion to the overall size of the car. One size bigger wheels would have been just perfect for this EV. Now just like the exterior, even the cabin design of the Comet EV really appeals to you. It just looks very nicely and tastefully done. No hint of cost cutting, looks quite premium, I have to say that the highlight are these twin screens as a part of a single independent console, the 10 inch touch screen and the 10 inch uh, LCD instrument cluster, full digital and the graphics are really really nice, they really point towards premiumness, you know you can also play through the screen and change the look and get a lot of information that you really need when you're driving an electric vehicle. The steering wheel is also quite nice, very gadgetry if I can say that. Uh, nice buttons, good use of colors here on the car as well. So white and gray, MG's try to keep it really light. So that appeals to you, it will really appeal to the modern uh, youthful crowd as well. And ergonomically also not bad. I spoke about the tall boy design of the car that helps when you're sitting inside this cabin. So I've got good space here on the first road, not really complaining too much and a very clear view of the road as well. You get a host of connectivity features, more than 50 MG has been known to give that in all its cars. So the Comet EV, despite its small size, is no different. You get many features to play with on the car. You can access many features remotely as well. You can also lock, unlock and drive this car without a key using the app on your phone. That's really nice. And you can also give voice commands like many other cars from the brand. Hello MG. I'm listening. Switch off the AC. Been turned off. The touchscreen system is compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the car is also equipped with a rear view camera. 
but many of these features are available only in this top variant of the car. The digital key can also be shared with two people which is an added advantage. Well, you got only one door on either side of the Comet EV, so how easy or difficult is the access to the second door? Let's find out. So I open the door. I have the lever here to help me recline the seat, the front seat, and then I can slide it forward to create more space to enter the second row. So I'll close the door, take my front seat back to its original position, and let's tell you how it is here on the second row. So yes, it's a car that's less than three meters. So on the second row, there's a bit of a compromise when it comes to the under thigh support or the seat back is a little straight. You may not like that, but overall the headroom and especially the knee room isn't bad at all. Despite my height, I am not complaining too much sitting here on the second row of the Comet EV. The big vertical glass here is unopenable, but it does add to the airy feeling and helps improve the second row experience. The Comet gets negligible boot space, but you can always fold either or both of the second row seats to fit in some luggage. We decided to drive the MG Comet in its natural environment, the urban chaos. The power and torque figures here are sufficient to give you the thrust you're looking for in most situations. In fact, they ensure a rather peppy drive on the car. The MG Comet EV comes with a 17.3 kWh battery that is smaller than some of the electric cars that are sold in the market right now which come in the affordable category. Uh, it comes with a claimed range of 230 km and there is only one battery pack option so you cannot uh, choose a higher battery pack variant on this car. So first let's talk about the range because that is of course uh, one of the most important aspects in an electric vehicle. So when we started out in the morning, the car was showing a range of 200 kilometers or 99% uh, state of charge. Now that now has come down to around 70% and 140 kilometers and that is almost the distance I have driven on this drive. So it is real time, it is linear and that really impresses you and gives you the confidence that this car will last the distance. So there is no DC fast charging option here but you can of course use an AC charger, 3.3 kilowatt charger can charge this car from 10 to 80% in around 5 hours, that's not bad. Otherwise, of course, you can always leave uh, leave this car overnight at a home charging normal 60 ampere charging socket and charge the car. Now, MG says that, you know, some findings have suggested that 95% of the people in India, electric vehicle owners in India, like to charge their cars at home. They don't use uh, public charging stations. So that's a good indication on, on, on what the trend is when it comes to charging the EVs. RFP battery is made of prismatic cell which is considered to be safer and also helps in keeping the costs in check. It powers the permanent magnetic synchronous motor which makes around 41 bhp along with 110 Nm numbers which suffice well for a car of this size. Now crucially you have three drive modes on the Comet. So you have normal, you have eco, you have sport. So it's obvious, you know, the Eco gives you the maximum range and that's good that MG has given you these options in the car so you can choose the mode depending on the distance that is left to be driven or how often do you want to charge your car. But that's not all. The car also gets multiple region modes. So you get uh, heavy, light and normal. Switch of a button, you can change these modes. So in all, there are six possible permutations and combinations you can choose from uh, which can be a combination of the curse modes as well as the drive modes to ensure either a more sporty drive or getting maximum range out of the car. Having said that, the difference between the three region levels can be starker than what it is right now. Talking about braking, the car gets discs on the front and drums on the rear and there's some scope for improvement especially when it comes to stopping at high speeds. Now oh, this is a very easy car to drive to maneuver, it is really simple. I've been driving it uh, almost the whole day in some crazy traffic here in Delhi and it hasn't disappointed me. So changing lanes is very easy with a turning radius of just 4.2 meters. It really comes in handy. You can maneuver it through some heavy traffic 
park it in tight parking spaces, squeeze it between cars and other vehicles. It really helps the size of this vehicle and of course the turning radius as I said. But what also impresses is the ride quality or even the handling on the vehicle. Yes, it's a tall boy design but you can make your maneuvers even at decently high speeds and still have the confidence to do that. Ride quality is not exactly out of the world but it doesn't disappoint you as well. It's okay for a car that's going to come in this particular segment. The NVH levels are also kept in check nicely and you don't normally get such kind of insulation in small cars. So noise of other vehicles or even the sound of tyres doesn't really bother you while travelling in the Comet. And MG has also given you some nice safety features on the car apart from the regular ones we see on most cars these days. So uh, you get uh, a speed limiter here, you can set your speed beyond which the car will not uh, go if you set that limit and of course you also have this one nice feature where the game mode cannot be changed at speeds above 5 km per hour so if you're driving in D and some child or some other, some other person by mistake uh, tries to switch the drive mode it will not happen if that feature has been activated. Apart from this you get two airbags, tyre pressure monitoring system, ABS with EBD and ISOFIX child seat anchors. MG says the IP67 battery has gone through 16 safety tests in all. The Comet EV is priced starting at 7,98,000 rupees which is introductory and ex showroom. This makes it more affordable than both the Tata Tiago EV as well as the Citroen EC3. The latest from MG comes across as a likeable city car which is loaded with many new age features that will keep you hooked all the time. It has enough in its tank both in terms of power as well as range while its compact size makes your life easier in the urban chaos. This gadget on wheels has the potential to be a worthy urban mobility solution in the years to come.